Well, hello, my gorgeous Virgos. How has your Monday been? Has it been fun at all? Probably not. Everyone hates Mondays, but we make the best out of what we get, right? Well, my sweet, beautiful, gorgeous Virgos, I am Carrie, Queen of Swords, and this mm -hmm, is my marvelous castle. And you have stepped in just in time. Why? Because I am serving up some hot, fresh, strong tea, Ruth, for my friends today. Truth. Yeah, Queen of Swords, bitches. Okay, my little Virgos. I am going to be doing a three card spread on you guys and gals and pals. And the name of the spread is This Shit Is Not Working. Hmm. What comes to mind, my little Virgos? Hmm? When I say This Shit Is Not Working. Hmm. I know somebody, everybody got something flying to their mind. Because I think about Nintendo games back in the day. Or the VHS tapes. Oh, my word. Don't even get me started on an 8-track. That's really showing my age. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, okay, Virgos, I'm going to quit playing around. Sorry, I apologize. I'm a little sleepy. A little delirious. Okay, so this is a spread about shit not working in your, I mean, it's not working in your life. So what are we going to do about it, right? Card number one is going to be um, me asking the divine for you, Virgo, why it is you feel like things in your life are all taking a shit at the same time. Like everything in your life at the same time. You can't just have one or the other and then, oh, you get past that in a couple of weeks. You feel like every important thing in your life just ran off and locked themselves in a bathroom and now they're constipated. What the hell? <laughs> right? Okay, so card number two is going to represent how it is, if you can even, turn this shit train around. Like, you got a shit train coming at you, boo-boo. So you got to be like, boop, boop, you know? Get out the way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Okay. Um, let's see. So, it's going to represent something possibly that you may need to do so that you can get that shit train in the right direction. Fall, fall away from you, love. And then, card number three, last but not least, is the lesson. Mm-hmm. All these beautiful shit shows have a lesson, right? I mean, some people continue to cycle through the shit shows. So, if I can help you at all get a little clarity, let's shut the shit show down. It's <laughs> a tongue tire. <laughs> tongue twister. All right, card number three. It's the lesson that you learn, Virgo, when coming out of the shit shower. So what, no, a shit storm. You got dookie flying in your ears unless you got an umbrella. Shit, I'd want a raincoat and then some coveralls, rubber boots. <laughs> anyway, we don't want that to happen. All right, so let's get started. Enough playing around, Carrie Ann. Divine Creator, please, can you give us a card to represent what it is that is making our Virgo collective feel like everything important in their life ran off to take a shit or that it's gone to shit. Please, give us some insight. Thank you. All right, card number two. Can you please tell us, give us guidance and insight into how our gorgeous Virgos can turn the shit train around. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Hmm. Oof, getting a little rough looking. All right. Last but not least, what is this beautiful lesson that we are going to be so grateful for and sending out gratitude for us learning this lesson? Right, Virgo? We're going to learn it? Yes. What is this beautiful lesson? 
That came out of the ship storm. Woo, thank you. Gave me quite a few on that one. Ooh, a new beginning. Gosh. Sorry. I'm not going to tell you until we get there. Okay, Virgo. It's showing that. Mm. You feel abandoned by all of these things that you found great importance in for a long time, it seems, in regards to a mutual love, relationship, affection. It's like you understood one another. You know, you cared about each other. You were respectful of one another's needs and wishes and wants. And then, something happened, Virgo. And you or your partner or both of y'all felt abandoned, left out in the cold. This could be some financial difficulties for some. Could be health problems. But this is a love relationship that has gone sour, that has played out, that where maybe something more could have been done, but for some of y'all I'm hearing, but there was no motivation on one or the other's part in this. Like, you have to participate to fix this. And it seems that someone failed to do so, and now uh, I'm really feeling both of y'all felt left out in the cold and it's a sad situation because how you know if it wasn't just one that walked away how did both of you get so far apart that it was irreparable unrepairable I'm sorry Virgos okay I mean and this could be some that um knew at the beginning of it that they didn't really want to be committed but it kind of happened like that you know and then they had to end it so one or the other felt very um, abandoned alone oh, goodness what a shit show already Virgo okay so now we're gonna move over to card number two and this is how can you Virgo how can Virgo turn this shit train right back around do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars and do not drive by me with all that shit in there <laughs> and it's saying to make a big decision this is the two of swords in this deck okay and the two of swords is about continuing to be blindfolded even though you have the power to free yourself. Sounds like denial, right? And if you want this shit train to go back the other way, you need to quit delaying this completion. There's an ending here that needs to finish, okay? This cycle needs to finish. Whatever this was is finished at this point in your life. Let this finish and make that really tough decision, okay? And I don't know what it is. I don't know what's got you lingering over here with this um, soured relationship. It could be just the nostalgic memories and like the love that you shared. I know that's with every relationship. But it is very important so that you ain't slammed with a train full of shit, <laughs> Virgo, that you complete this out, please. Whatever's blocking this, whatever's delaying this, which I think it has to do with you not wanting to see the truth. I mean, those birds gonna fuck you up. <laughs> They're mobile. <laughs> they gonna hurt you. Better take that blindfold off and swat at them, right? That you made the decision, shoot, go bird, get away from me, right? Yeah. But this is definitely about um, a cycle that needs to be completed. And you're the one that has the ball in your court, Virgo. That's what I'm feeling for most of you guys. Growls. She's just not sure about taking it completely off yet. Hmm. Rip it off like a band-aid. And then like... 
hit those damn crows plucking at your hair and everything else. Mm -mm. I would have already took that off. I'd have choked one of them with it. <laughs> okay. So, if you want that shit train to go back that way, take your blindfold off, Virgo. Okay? People say ignorance is bliss. It is until it isn't. Okay? Because eventually you do learn. That's just the way of being human, right? And eventually things that are in the darkness will come to light. Damn, that hurts when you've been blinding yourself this entire time. Intentionally. Alright? Making excuses for people. I'm guilty. Trying to think through why they reacted that way and make them seem better than what they really probably felt. <laughs> because you love them. Alright? Rip that bitch off, man. Just rip it off. Okay? Now, the lessons you're going to learn from this, which are a great deal of lessons, you've got four cards on that one, is that you are going to start this amazing new beginning and, and journey in your life, okay? You're free. There's freedom. There's clarity. There's sunshine and happiness. You know? An adventure. Passion. Exploration. Okay? And so, once all this has been completed, after the blindfold's off, you will be able to see what beauty lies ahead of you, Virgo. Why stay like this? Fighting these crows when you can go jump off the cliff and swim for a little bit. You know, bask in the sunshine. Ground yourself with Mother Nature and Gaia. 12-12 on the clock. And that during this journey, you're going to learn that there are competition. There's competitive people. There's conflict along the way. That's just a part of life. You know, any human that you are around enough for long enough might start really irking you a little bit, you know, start stomping on that one little nerve you got left, you know. Ugh. And we as humans, sometimes we do not control these flooding emotions and we'll snap at somebody, you know, and then it'll cause conflict may even cause competition depending on where it's at, could be in the workplace, but this is competition in moving towards your goals, desires, and your brand new beginning. Could be work related. This could be about enterprise. There could be some kind of program, something you're getting into, um, some job training or testing that is highly competitive, but it is a part of your journey, right? Part of your journey to experience but you will learn that along the way as well as mm -mm -mm, confusion about choices about options about opportunities about love here he's got all his cups turned over now how are you going to see what's in there if you got them all turned over you over here you should be dating this chick she likes to be blinded too <laughs> But no, this is, this is about being disillusioned in some way. This could even be someone um, attempting to manipulate you about a choice. But see, you, if you look close, you're over here. You've already been through the competition. Now you're really making careful decisions. And that's the way to do it. See, you're not being naive like the fool in reverse. Baby, you upright. You have just enough faith in the divine, in your intuition and how the angelic realms speak to you to know that you're going to make the right choice. Yes, there's lots of options. Don't get distracted, Virgo. Don't get distracted. Okay? And watch out for delays. 
when you are moving to these calmer waters. All right, after all this conflict, okay, you start your new beginning. I feel like this is like the little storyline of what your lesson entailed. Here you are, you were heartbroken, but now you're free as a bird. Yeah, like free bird. But then you run into these competitive folks or just a confrontational people, you know, that are clanking wands all together. You know, you're like, I don't even have a wand. I don't want a wand, no. It's my bindle. And all I'm bringing is like curiosity and lessons from what I've experienced so far. So you run into all these clanking wands. Could be a bunch of dudes. I don't know. The wand is spell it. <laughs> um, and it causes you a lot of confusion with these clanking wands. It's too damn loud. Too many guys all ganged up at once, right? Look. Boy, they working hard too. So you're just sitting back, pondering, watching, being observant like you Virgos are, okay? And because there was competition, because there was conflict and a little confusion in choosing the right path, there will be delays or some setbacks or just emotionally hard or mentally hard for you to move because you know swords are about intellect, it's about the mind. Could be you're caught in your head so much and still rolling the, the five of wands and the seven of cups over in your head. And so it's hard for you to move to calmer waters, to calmer emotions, all right? Just be mindful of that. Be mindful that there will be setbacks and delays. My sweet, sweet Virgos. But you know what else? When you fell, that's just another little stepping stone straight towards success and resilience and willpower. And you know what it's about? How bad do you fucking want it, right? You want it more than these clanking ones and this uh, disillusionment or confusion? All right, so let me rerun over it again. In the recent past, there was a love relationship where you both loved and adored each other very much. It was mutual affection. This ended and it left either you or both of you feeling left out in the cold and abandoned. This could be some, for some, this is uh, physical health for your partner and you. So this caused you to feel like everything in your life was just shitty. Like, oh, oh, what was that? Was that my Sunday school class taking a shit? Yeah, I figured it would be shitty too. But get out of that mindset, all right? And I think you did. And I think you're, you're moving into those calmer waters. But you gotta get out of that negative thinking. I'm feeling, some of you Virgos are thinking very negatively about this, okay? Maybe it was a, a harsh ending, I don't know. But whatever it is, Virgo, you're not wanting to release this and you have to release this. I forgive myself and I release all that does no longer serve me now, all right? And I want you to keep repeating that to yourself over and over and over again till you rip this damn thing off and get those crows away from your beautiful hair, girl. And your eyeballs. If they snatch them one. Hmm. Makes you wonder, how hard do crows peck? Mm-mm. Hmm. But yeah, she also has a tattoo of like the justice scales, it looks like, on her forearm or something close to that. It looks like it could be. It looks like it to me. And that's just making me think you're really weighing your options with this Two of Swords, okay? You know that this cycle needs to end. You know that this is not healthy, that this needs to go ahead and complete. But I think you're trying to mull over how to do it and with the least amount of pain possible to you or this person. And you're on your journey to freedom here. Feeling pretty good, looking pretty good. And you realize 
that you learn there's going to be a lot of competitive natured people out there people that don't care they'll walk right over you and confuse you play games with you mentally and that makes it harder than what this was here to heal from okay guard your heart but not too much my gorgeous Virgos and it was so good catching up come on now we need to do this more often we say that every time <laughs> anyway I'm sending peace love and light to you and yours and um, Queen of Swords is out my bitches <laughs>